on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Top Vloggers. As always, I'm your host, Hi and Mighty Joe, hanging out with... Your co-host, the lovely cat. And boy, have we got a great vlog for you today. We are headed to the birthplace home of Thomas R. Marshall. He was the 28th Vice President of the United States of America. As you can see, we have Aaron in the back. It should be a fun and an exciting time. You can join us on all of our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Top Vloggers. Also, if you'd like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs will be almost impossible to do. There will be a link in the description below. And if you are new here, you can hit that subscribe button, take it one step further, and ring the notification bell to keep you up to date on all the future adventures that will be going on on our channel. So let's get going! Today's vlog brings us to the Thomas R. Marshall birthplace. Let's go inside and take a look and see if they're open. Now Thomas R. Marshall was born on March 14th, 1854 right here in North Manchester, Indiana. He died June 1st, 1925 in Washington, D.C. and as I said earlier, he was the 28th Vice President of the United States of America from 1913 to 1921 in the Democratic administration of President Woodrow Wilson. Uh, he was also the first vice president uh, in almost a century to serve two terms in office. A popular uh, public official, uh, he was heard to make the oft quote remark, what this country really needs is a good five cent cigar. Now there is a thought process behind that. There were five cigar um, stores here in North Manchester and it's probably believed, knowing what we know about politicians today, that he probably had his hand in one of them, if not all of them somehow. Uh, and that was probably why he wanted um, to get the five cent cigar uh, going. Now Marshall was the son of Daniel M. Marshall, who was a physician, and Martha Patterson. He graduated from Wabash College in 1873. He was admitted to the Indiana Bar in 1875 and practiced law for almost 35 years in Columbia City from 1875 until 1909. He was a forceful uh, and entertaining speaker. He was elected governor of Indiana in 1908 and during the next four years sponsored an extensive program of progressive social legislation. Largely because of his record in office, his name was presented as a favorite son candidate for president at the Democratic National Convention of 1912. After Wilson won the nomination of the 40, on the 46th ballot, his advisors, who had secretly promised Marshall the vice presidency in return for supporting Wilson, suggested Marshall as vice president. Uh, despite Wilson's opinion of Marshall as a very small uh, man, uh, the electoral calculations eventually swayed him uh, to support Marshall's nomination. Uh, Marshall, uh, he had a very beautiful home here, as we can, as we have seen, and uh, it's not a very big home. Uh, but it's not a real small home either, uh, but definitely very beautiful. Now Marshall's personal influence on legislation was a powerful aid to the Wilson administration, although some opponents viewed him as a dangerous radical. Now Marshall advocated strict neutrality uh, prior to World War I, a stand that he later regretted. He supported the American membership in the League of Nations and opposed women's suffrage. When Wilson suffered a stroke that partially paralyzed him in 1919, Marshall steadfastly refused to amuse, uh, I'm sorry, assume the powers of the presidency without written request from First Lady Edith Wilson and the President's doctor and congressional uh, resolution. Uh, fearing that he would be accused of longing for Wilson's place. 
uh, while Wilson was incapacitated, Marshall uh, presided over cabinet meetings but made no major decisions, uh, although he was discussed uh, as a potential presidential candidate in both 1920 and 1924, Marshall never actively sought the nomination. Uh, his homespun philosophy and humor are recorded uh, in a book called Recollection, Recollections of Thomas R. Marshall, Vice President and Hoosier Philosopher, a uh, Hoosier Salad in 1929. We have actually seen a copy of that book when we went to the uh, Dan Quayle Vice Presidential Museum and Learning Center. They happened to have uh, that book out there, and uh, we got a chance to see that, uh, a copy of that book. And it was really nice to be able to go around and take a, a walk around uh, his property. Uh, the house have actually has actually been moved three times, uh, from what I've been told. Uh, so I, apparently this is not actually the original location for the home uh, or maybe this is the original location and it has been moved and then moved back um, I'm not exactly sure but I do know that the, the home had been moved three different times uh, so it was it was nice to be able to get here and actually see the home uh, before anything was you know could happen to it uh, or I mean I assume it's probably listed on the uh, National Register of Historical Places but uh, by walking around, I never did see any kind of sign uh, or anything like that. So I, I don't, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Uh, but you would think that it, with it being the house or home of a vice president of the United States of America, that it would become. Uh, apparently, they do offer um, tours, and apparently, it was. So I guess from the lady that we did we spoke to, it was supposed to be open today. Uh, but nobody ever answered the door when I did knock on it so unfortunately we were not able to go in but we were able to take a walk around and look at uh, the house uh, from every angle now this is part of the 2005 centen centennial project uh, of North Manchester's Rotary Club Right here next to it, this is the Rotary Gazebo next to the Thomas R. Marshall House. And this gazebo is a gift to the North Manchester community funded by the local Rotary Club celebrating the centennial of Rotary International in 2005. And this little gazebo right here. And like I said, it's right next door to the Thomas R. Marshall House. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Uh, it sure was uh, fun to be able to see uh, the Thomas R. Marshall House uh, and to see where he lived uh, and uh, learn so much more about him. Uh, I did not know uh, a lot of the things that we learned here today about him. Uh, I pretty much knew that he was the 28th president of the United States or uh, vice president of the United States of America and that he was once a governor. Uh, other than that, I really didn't know much about him. So it was definitely fun and exciting and educational for me uh, to be able to learn more about him. It was really very interesting to learn more about him. I do, however, wish the house had been open. Uh, apparently inside they have the uh, entire house done up uh, in the period uh, from when he would have lived there. Uh, so that would have been fun to uh, see, but uh, maybe that's something that we could come back for uh, another time. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye. I believe that does it for us here today. We will see you again tomorrow with another vlog for each and every single one of you. Until then, top vloggers! out.